Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where I show you how to unpair your Apple Watch from your iPhone with or without the phone itself. So first things first, the easiest way of doing this is if you have the phone. So before you sell your phone or upgrade, go ahead and navigate to the watch app so you can search for the watch app. It looks like this right here. Go to your watch app and you should go to the option here that says my watch. And once you're here on the watch that we want to unpair, you want to scroll down to where you see something that says general. Go ahead and tap into general here. And then you want to scroll all the way down until you see something right here that says reset. If we go to reset here, we'll have a couple of options. We want to erase Apple Watch content and settings. We want to reset the home screen. The one that we want to do is erase Apple Watch content and settings. A warning for the remainder of this video. When we do this, it will completely remove the settings, apps, and data on that current Apple Watch. So you need to make sure that you have a backup of that Apple Watch on your iCloud. So just Google how to backup your Apple Watch and you're good to go. It's as simple as going to iCloud, enabling backup on your watch device, and you're good to go. So that's the first way, is by going to Erase Apple Watch Content and Settings, and then once you tap the red link there that says Erase All Content and Settings, it will go through a process and it will be completely unpaired from your iPhone. All right, and the next way that you can unpair the device or your Apple Watch without the phone, so if you've already sold your phone, erased your phone, but forgot to unpair the watch, the best and easiest way of going about doing this is going to iCloud. As you can see, I'm at iCloud.com right now. Once you are logged into iCloud, you want to scroll down to the apps to where you see Find My. And then once you're here, you'll see a list of all your devices, iPads, Macs, iPhones, AirPods. You want to extend or expand the list here and find your Apple Watch, the one that you're trying to unpair. Now, just like I told you earlier, when you do uh, erase the device, it will remove all data, apps, and settings, and you'll have to reset all of that up. Uh, as far as the different options here, erase or remove, removing will just remove it, but if it connects to the internet again, it'll automatically come back up on this list, but erasing the device will completely unpair it. So as you can see here, uh, removing the watch uh, is an option, but what we want to do to unpair is erase the Apple Watch here with an iCloud. Go ahead and do that. It's going to ask you to log in to your iCloud once more. It'll also ask you to verify with a code as well. It'll then ask you to add a phone number if you want to. Go ahead and just click erase. And once you do this, you should see something here within iCloud that says erase pending. Uh, now, during this process, you can actually stop the erase request if you've done it uh, unintendedly. Uh, but I would go ahead and let it pinned uh, as it will continue to you know, take some time to erase. But once it does, the watch will be completely unpaired. All right, and the last way that you can erase or unpair the Apple Watch is from the watch itself. So go to the watch, hit the dial on the right side of the watch. Uh, so push that in and then go to settings, which is the gear icon here. Once in the settings app, go to general. And then once here under general, scroll all the way down the reset. You'll see an option now that says erase all content and settings. Uh, again, as I've said multiple times in this video, once you do this, all settings, apps, and data will be removed. So again, you just tap the uh, dial there on the right, go to settings, hit erase all content, and it will automatically unpair the watch itself. And that's it. Those are the three different ways you can unpair your watch with or without the iPhone itself. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.